right, folks, I got a real easy one. I'm back for a real easy one. Um, it's just going to, it could be a meal or a snack. It's just chicken and cheese, baked potatoes. And I'm going to use some seasoned rotisserie chicken as well to top that with. I've already cleaned and washed my baked potatoes. I'm going to um, take your baked potatoes and you're going to put them in a big bowl. And we're going to put our gloves on. And then we're going to put some olive oil and a little bit of salt for flavor, just a little bit, and then a little bit of black pepper. And then we're going to put that in the oven for about 30 minutes. And then we're going to take it back out and add a couple of more items to it. By the way, I got the oven on 450 degrees as well. I got nine potatoes here. So make sure I get a little coating. Sprinkle some salt on the outside. Some black pepper. Come on, black pepper. There you go. And we're just going to mix that in, folks. Like so. Just want to mix that up. And you're going to put that on a baking sheet. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to bake, like I said, I'm going to bake mine for 30 minutes. And then we're going to come back. All right, folks. Here we are now. I took the baked potatoes out of the oven. They're already, they're not completely done. They only cook for 30 minutes, remember. So off camera, I sauteed me some onions, a half an onion, and my everything seasonings as well that I put on there. And I chopped up my um, rotisserie chicken. And we got some shredded cheese here. So we're going to take one potato. We're going to split it. I'm going to do it like this. How Wendy's taught me when I worked, started working for Wendy's uh, when I was 16. But they had a different uh, type of knife that you use. They had different little grades on it. So I'm going to take this potato. We're going to just chop it up a little bit like so. We're going to take uh, about a teaspoon of the uh, sautéed onions. We'll take some of this chicken breast here, this rotisserie chicken. Place it on top like so. We're going to take us some shredded cheese like so. We're going to take us some chives like so. We're going to take us a zest of lime, like so. Like that, folks. Be right back when I got it all done. All right, folks. This is uh, what it looks like before I'm putting it in the oven. All right. I turned the oven down to 425 degrees. And we're going to cook this for 20 to 25 minutes uncovered or until lightly golden brown, folks. Be right back. All right, folks, I just took it out of the oven after 20 minutes. And I'm going to uh, squeeze a lemon juice, freshly lemon juice on the top. It's just my own little recipe. I didn't get it from nobody. But you're welcome to it. Be inspired. Be influenced. That's it. Now it's just time to see what the uh, taste testers got to say, folks. We'll be right back with the taste testers. All right, folks. I found me some taste testers, and they're ready to give you the initial reaction to this cheesy Chicken, what else, what else? Baked potato. Baked potato. I've had it, folks. <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> zesty, yeah, with that zesty taste, that right, zesty. With a zest, uh, lime, uh, lime zest and a twist of lemon. Mm -hmm. I forgot about the lime zest. That's good. Very good.
All right, Thomas, tell us what you think, sir. I think it was great. I enjoyed it. All right. All praises to the most high. All right, Mr. Rick, give us your honest opinion. Was very good. Very, very good. good. All praises. Enjoy. Thank you. All praises. Hats off to the chef. This is very delicious. Excellent taste. The citrus fruit is outbursting. Delicious. <laughs> I'm glad you could taste it. All mm -hmm. praises. Thank you, Sister Rhonda. Mm -hmm. All right, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah, real good. Good. It tastes good. Uh -huh. It got the right taste set the preserve to it. Okay. It's lovely. All Thank praises. Oh, you're welcome, sir. All praises. It's delicious. I'm tasting all the different flavors in it. Okay. It's actually very good. And thank you very much. You're so welcome. Once again. You're welcome, Miss Kim. Thank you. All praises to the most high. Mm -hmm. All right, Nicole, we want to hear from you today. As usual, I taste every ingredient. Okay. Very good warm and taste to perfection all praise to the father all right miss alicia all i can say is it's so good just go do the recipe you won't regret it because oh. i'm gonna do it all praises i'm it's glad you good. like it mm. all praise to the father somebody gonna be happy other than you <laughs> <laughs> what you said other than you like you made me happy you make somebody all, happy all right, right now but so just call me when you do it <laughs> all, right. all right, Kim said, just call you when she do it, huh? And you can throw my name in the pot as well. All right, <laughs> all right, Miss Rhonda. Mm -hmm. And Keith added his, his too. Okay, y'all. All praise to the Most High. All right, folks, it was unanimous. We had seven out of seven today. Yes. They said it was very tasty, so I suggest y'all if y'all got a move for an appetizer, mm -hmm. like I said, it can be a meal or it can be an anytime snack. Go for it. You know, I'm, I told you I had you covered. You know what I'm saying? So that's our show for today, folks. Remember, go love on somebody. Go be a blessing. Remember, it's always better to be a blessing than to receive a blessing. I always like to say that. Till next time, folks. <laughs> you know what I like to say. Shalom and peace. All right, folks, that's our show. Thank you for your participation. All praises to the Most High.